Alrighty, and in this tutorial, we are going to be working on the magic circle or magic ring, which is how you start about every single crochet plush. Unless you're doing like a long one, like for example, I'm in the middle of making a stingray. The eyes are gonna go right here, and just because of the shape of this, I had to start by chaining 10. Oh, sorry, my apologies. Um, but besides that, this is how you start about every single crochet project, like this little pug, magic circle right here. And I'm going to show you both ways to do this because sometimes depending on the cooperation and thickness of your yarn, sometimes you can't really pull it into a magic circle, but I will show you. Also, um, if you were wondering about the mesh from last tutorial about the triple crochet, this is the mesh that I'm currently making. It's with all triple crochets, but we are not going to be focusing on that right now. Right now <clears throat> is the magic circle. So I'm going to take my hook out. We're just going to unravel all of this. There are lots of ways to do it, but this is how I learned from a tutorial. So the first method is going to be with regular acrylic yarn. That's usually what I make, like this pug, once again. That's acrylic yarn, however, I do have plush yarn, like this. And I have some plush yarn that my friend gave me for both of the frogs, so thank you. Thank you, bestie. Um, so this is just regular acrylic yarn that I got from the doll store. Four millimeter hook, size F if you use letters. I usually use the numbers. But let's get on with it. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our yarn in between our index and thumb. So in between these fingers right here, finger and thumb, because technically your thumb is not a finger. Oh my gosh, it's not focusing. And that's making me mad. Okay, here we go. So, I'm going to take it, wrap it around once, and then cross over, making it an X on behind, and then I usually just kind of hold it in between my middle and ring finger like this. So then it has two lines on the finger. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your hook right here, slip it underneath the, the um, piece of yarn closest to your fingernail, and then hook the second piece of yarn farthest from your fingernail and pull it under like that. And then you're going to, this part's a little tricky, so I'm gonna try and do it as slow as I can. It's like this hook, you're gonna turn it sideways and then twist it around and then pull it under the left side of this X and then pull it through like that so then um, I'm just doing this I'm doing six single crochets inside this to show you how it works okay so we have six single crochets inside and we have this little tail of yarn here um, it is going oh my gosh it is going to be called a tail in most tutorials or patterns and this is kind of the satisfying part that I always like you're gonna take it and you're gonna pull it, pull it as tight as you can, and now you have a little circle. Like, look at that, that's so cute. Um, this is how you usually start almost all of the plushes that you make. It's, it's almost always going to be six single crochets inside a magic circle. And so I'm going to do that once more, and then I'm going to show you the alternative if you have thicker yarn that like won't cooperate or something. So you're gonna take it, pin it, um, pin it in between these two fingers right here with your thumb, and then wrap it around, then, then cross it, and still kind of like pin that extra piece under your thumb, so it makes an X, and then you have two separate lines on the back. Then you're going to take your hook, slip it under the part closest to your fingernail, this little thing right here, and then hook the other piece and pull it under like that 
And now you are going to put your hook sideways, twist it around, hook it under the left piece. This is the left. And then ah, put it underneath. Then kind of turn your fingers and pull it through like that. And that is how you do the um, magic circle and then you can pull the yarn. And now I'm going to be showing you the other way to do it. This is just if your yarn won't cooperate. I usually have to do that with this kind of plush yarn right here. Because if I pull it, then the fuzz will just come off the string. And it's a complete mess. Um, and I will, I'll be showing y'all how to, well, we'll, we'll see. Um, you'll probably, you may or may not know how to chain already, but I will show you in a po possible, probably YouTube short if needed, but, um, here, let's, let's do it for, if y'all don't know how to make a slip knot, this is how I do it. Okay, you take your yarn, this is the tail right here that I'm holding in between my fingers. I kind of have it a little bit longer. Oh my gosh, can my camera literally focus? This is kind of frustrating. There we go, okay. So we're going to take it and then we're gonna kind of twirl it around like this so we have a little loop. And then we put our little pinchers inside the loop and pull the long piece of your yarn through it like that and then and it's called a slip knot because you can easily just pull it and it'll come right out so again take this make it a loop get your chompers i mean pinchers i'm sorry make it into a loop put your hook on and then tighten it with the long piece of yarn and so what we're going to do with the other magic ring is we're going to take it. Sorry, I was moving my hair out of my face. We're going, I'm going to focus the camera real quick. Okay, we're going to take it. And this is at a chain. You're going to put your yarn over. And you, you kind of move your hook, but you also kind of use your finger to lift it up and down. So you're going to pull the yarn on under that hook and then you have one chain and so we're going to do yarn over pull it through and now you have two chains on your hook and then kind of just like the magic circle we're going to stick it in the first hook do one single crochet and then we're going to do even more so that's two we're going to do six single crochet inside this chain that's two this was three just kind of move that tail out of the way four five and six i wouldn't really recommend this way if you're using acrylic yarn because the magic circle is easier and if you do it it'll kind of leave that little hole in the middle but that is how you do a magic circle magic ring for in both ways to do it. Thank you.